So Rick and Morty Season 3 Episode 4 has landed and straight off I'll say I thought this episode was absolutely great for multiple reasons. Mainly the fact it pokes fun at not only Marvel but also DC and a little sore thrown in the mix for good measure. Every review I've seen has only mentioned the fact it's a riff on Marvel. To be precise, the Vindicators are essentially Guardians of the Galaxy. But the characters themselves are mixed in with what I would call quite obvious DC characters as well. Alan Rails, for instance, a phantom train conductor who can summon a ghost train, who in my view is poking fun at Green Lantern. And we have Supernova, powers of a collapsing star who again shares a lot of similarities to Starfire, right down to how she summons her powers. We also get Million Ants Man, Crocubot, and Maximus Renegade Star Soldier, along with Noop Noop. All the characters are brilliant though, oddly specific power set, and of course, extremely cliche origins. The main jokes towards Guardians of the Galaxy come from Rick, who seemingly hates the Vindicators and is massively against the mission with them. He pokes fun at how the Vindicators are a phase, him and Morty did one adventure with them and it was the big event of that summer, and now they need to let it die. This then follows up with Morty enforcing his 1 in 10 adventure card, where he has the right to choose an adventure for the both of them. Much to Rick's annoyance, he stamps the card and they move off for Vindicators 2. So the guys head off to the Vindicator ship where they are informed in a briefing with the team that World Ender, the villain, is apparently out to end more than worlds this time. This would be your Thanos or Darkseid reference. This is where we start to learn really what this episode is about and it's a very Rick and Morty centred one. More specifically, it's the relationship between the two of them. We see how Rick becomes jealous of Morty's admiration and idolisation of the Vindicators, which begins to set the stage for what's to come. Rick no longer Morty's hero, becomes the villain, born out of jealousy. Rick, blind drunk and blacked out, destroys the World Ender and all of his followers. The Vindicators, not aware of Rick's turn, question, who could this far greater evil be that even the World Ender couldn't beat? Enter the Saw parody as Metal Gates lock everyone in and Rick arrives on a massive screen. He explains what he has in store for the group, they must play along with his game or they die. A few Vindicators are killed, Maximus Renegade Star Soldier is the first to go along with Crocubot. However, it's actually Supernova who claims the lives of Million Ants Man and Alan Rails. We end in the final game where the Vindicators must put something of great worth on the platform. Something that the Vindicators have that Rick will never have. Something that has value to Rick. Rick begins to explain that it's Morty, though not wanting to fully admit that he loves Morty, of course. In true Rick and Morty style though, it takes a turn when Morty is sucked down into a platform and a video of Rick explains that actually it was Noop Noop. I'd say though it was Morty all along as I don't think the trap would have worked unless it was. Even when drunk, Rick's inventions do work. We end as they rise to the surface and Rick, blackout drunk, planned a whole party for himself to celebrate the killing of World Ender. We get a cameo with Logic the Rapper and Gearhead shows up once more. So I will say I thought this was a brilliant episode, absolutely great. It's really nice to see them showcasing different focus on each episode and I am looking forward to seeing what Jerry has been up to the last few episodes. But what did you guys think of it? Did you catch the Marvel and DC references? And do you think Rick and Morty is back on top form? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section and for weekly Rick and Morty reviews, stick with me, Mr. Age. If you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then hit the subscribe button to stay notified of all future updates. If you did enjoy this video and you think it deserves it, then hit that like button as it does help the channel out. I've been Mr. H and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.